Good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of days trading, the 22nd of, uh, gen of, 22nd of February 2017. Wednesday's trading session, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signal to market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of numbers, European markets, the FTSE certainly finishes higher at 7300, although... Uh, it certainly has been marked down due to the uh, X Divi, so certainly bear that in mind. Uh, the DAX finishes up 31 points, the CAC finishes up just about, whilst the FTSE MIB under pressure and the IBEX and stocks certainly under pressure as well. Okay, so just uh, wrapping up in terms of the Fed minutes, uh, just uh, certainly reading through them and uh, certainly indicate hawkish stance going forward in terms of rate hikes, uh, indicating that uh, Trump's policies certainly uh, uh, indicate a, uh, a rate hike in March and March is certainly on the table and that certainly keeps the uh, equity markets at bay from my understanding. So certainly risk negative. Also we have several comments from Le Pen uh, indicating uh, or certainly uh, anti-euro comments. Again uh, any anti-euro rhetoric is certainly deemed negative uh, in terms of political uncertainty as well and economic uncertainty and social uncertainty given the unrest. Also, one of her aides has been charged with fraud as well. Uh, so certainly keep an eye on that in terms of uh, risk negative. We also have uh, negative comments from the IMF regarding Greece and Italy as well. So again, risk negative. So I'd certainly take all those factors into uh, account uh, when assessing risk at present. Okay, especially with regards to the EU Commission's uh, imbalances in Italy, uh, UK imports and business investment certainly lower as well. Uh, US data certainly questionable uh, Fed members certainly hawkish so for my understanding a stronger dollar certainly is risk negative especially with regards to oil prices moving lower and co copper and gold as well okay let's look at the actual technical picture now let's just quickly sum up in terms of the uh, German DAX first and foremost okay so German DAX from my perspective certainly a double top intraday bounced off gap fill okay in terms of the 60 minute chart uh, a topping tail was certainly put in earlier on uh, a rejection above 12,000, no real conviction, no real buying power above 12,000, therefore looking at risk aversion. Daily chart finished with a doji, again that's a, a reversal candle, so certainly take that into consideration into the following day. Especially adding the fact that the FOMC minutes certainly indicate a hawkish stance, that certainly would make sense in terms of the, uh, the actual German DAX moving lower. Okay, uh, the uh, next uh, chart we're looking at here now is the uh, French CAC, the daily chart. You can clearly see a double top, doji as well. So double top certainly confirmed, looking for bias to move lower. Therefore, adding further weight to the argument that uh, that we certainly are going to see the uh, the French CAC moving lower. At the moment, it's a lower high at the moment. We've held Fib 75%, certainly looking to move lower. 10-minute chart certainly has bounced off that uh, 4, 6, uh, 4, 8, uh, 60 zone, bounced in the back of Macron news. Apparently, he wants to align himself uh, again with uh, Fillion, I think. I can't remember. Basically, he wants to align himself against and uh, thereby negating any uh, further progress in terms of uh, Miss Le Pen. It's a high radical uh, movement. Okay, so again, certainly uh, helping equities bounce from that pivot low. Whether or not that can be sustained is another question altogether. But the daily chart certainly remains in negative. FTSE 100. Okay, certainly helped today by uh, Lloyd's TSB and Barrett putting a bullish engulfing candle. Uh, again, also uh, the dollar potential fall as well. Although oil prices have fallen today, so just bear that in mind. Uh, UK imports certainly missed and uh, the uh, business investment data certainly came in a little weaker as well, thereby indicating for weakness going forward. I was expecting this bearish continuation pattern to play, but that certainly failed in the back of Macron news, certainly triggering a short squeeze. Now the FTSE itself is capped at 7.310, 7.315, certainly expecting that uh, key resistance level to hold into tomorrow, especially given the uh, FOMC is certainly hawkish. Okay, 10 minute jar at the moment, certainly capped at 7.310 to 7.320. Let's see if this market actually moves any higher. Again, tomorrow should be a good test. In terms of the uh, Euro stocks now, last but not least, as always, let's go to Euro stocks. Okay, let's go to the daily chart. You'll see that we're certainly holding that key resistance zone, therefore indicating lower. 
as you can see there double top 60 minute chart at the moment uh putting a topping tail so looking for weakness looking to retest that support on back at 3280 zone again so certainly a, a bearish bias at present okay 10 minute chart at the moment again horizontal resistance around 3345 zone Certainly looking for risk aversion trade to kick in here, okay, looking down towards the 3315 and the 3300 level. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, from my understanding, after hours, uh, the FOMC is certainly hawkish, therefore indicating risk aversion, looking for equity markets to move lower. Please be sure to visit uh, CFTs.com, specialists in spread and CFT brokerage, and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.